okay uh, good morning all of you so now we'll start our lecture because more than 30 students joined okay simultaneously i will allow other students also so in the last lecture we were discussing about the laser beam machining and we have started the type of lasers okay so we'll begin with this point only okay so there are different types of lasers like solid state lasers and gas laser so first uh, we shall discuss a uh, different kinds of the solid state lasers okay So, solid state lasers uh, like ruby, this is a material, then NDAG, okay, so last time I told about the ruby uh, material, which kind of material is it, it is a, a crystal type, then NDAG material, laser, okay, NDAG laser, okay, ruby, ruby uh, laser, it is a solid state laser, then NDAG laser, again this is one, then ND glass laser. So these are the three different kinds of the solid state lasers. Okay. So, but because of this uh, poor thermal properties of this solid state lasers, uh, because of poor thermal properties of solid state laser, we can't uh, be used for heavy duty work purposes. Okay. So we can't use this solid state lasers for heavy duty applications. So this kind of lasers will heat up uh, so it has a poor thermal properties okay so it cannot be used for heavy duty operation so also this kind of laser solid laser does not operate faster than one to two hertz okay it does not operate faster than one uh, one or two hertz so it uh, does not occur at faster uh, faster than uh, one to uh, two hertz so used only for low pulse application like a uh, spot welding uh, drilling operation where low pulse, uh, pulse are uh, required so this kind of low pulse application because it has a it's a frequency it is a less than one to uh, two hertz only so again this out of this uh, three uh, solid state laser ndag laser is most powerful in this uh, lasers and it is used for the operations like cutting okay laser it is a most powerful out of this uh, solid uh, solid state laser and it is used for operation like uh, cutting so it's a mean uh, power is less than again 1000 watt but uh, but which is much more than that 1000 watt power mean power of this india laser it is much more than this our uh, gas laser that co uh, co2 laser in detail we are going to discuss in the next slide about the co2 laser okay so mean power uh, is 1000 watt about the india laser and it is much more than the co2 uh, laser but energy density is there no it is very high Okay. energy density is very high so this NDI laser it can uh, it is employed for this uh, light work only okay again we have the, the calcium fluoride crystal uh, doped uh, with neodymium material okay you can see ca plus f2 nd that means the calcium fluoride crystals doped with no dimium material okay so in that case what are the sodium uh, fluoride is there now when it is doped with the no dimium material so this round crystal rod with the uh, reflect with the with the reflect veins okay so that are used for the generation of the proton like in crystal and the uh, ruby aluminum okay 
so it is nothing but the aluminum oxide in that ruby means what uh, ruby aluminum means what it is again the aluminum oxide okay uh, with chromium okay as a doping metal okay that chromium will be act as a doping metal aluminum oxide is a yeah, uh, is a another metal so that is going to dope the that chromium okay so which is uh, distributed through that aluminum la that lattice sides and other things that physics part okay so again for that uh, crystalline uh, ruby no aluminum oxide just i have told that crystalline ruby in that sodium oxide with chromium ion impurities it distributed through that aluminum okay again we have the flash lamp uh, okay which is surrounded to the ruby rod okay and produces the light okay so flash lamp and the ruby rod are the enclosed in that cylinder <coughs> sorry okay and what are the uh, whatever that cylinder uh, we are using no so that cylinder has a highly reflective internal surface so this surface is uh, direct the light uh, from the flash, flash light, uh, lamp into the that rod and this light excite the chromium ions of the that ruby uh, crystal so uh, excite we thought where to take into the uh, into high uh, high energy level okay and while returning a journey to the normal state this excited ions at higher uh, energy levels release a proton that is the energy so thus desired energy is obtained in the form of short duration pulses okay so this is about the solid state lasers okay please uh, keep in mind that which are the solid state lasers and which are the materials which we can use then let us discuss the this gas lasers okay so now this gas laser so gas laser already i uh, told that so this configuration is, uh, which is, uh, i have shown the diagram that is uh, about the configuration of the co2 laser okay co2 means the what are you uh, your lasing medium is there no so inside that we have to give the that co2 gas so you can see the diagram so it is a consisting of the thin tube okay and that uh, tube is filled with the carbon dioxide that laser tube is there no so it is filled with the carbon carbon dioxide nitrogen helium or carbon monoxide okay and which are at a low pressure so these gases are recirculated and replenished with the uh, reduce the operating cost okay so electrodes are placed at both uh, ends of the your tube you can see there electrodes are there and electric current when passed through this tube no so it provides sufficient energy for our purpose to stimulate that atoms or uh, the molecules of that gas okay so now feedback mechanism you can see here feedback mechanism means that, that uh, mirrors so here also feedback mechanism is applied for the laser uh, resonator consists of the parallel mirrors mirrors and which are kept at the ends of the tube you can see the turning mirrors and the output mirrors so this one is highly active uh, in that uh, out of that two uh, mirrors no one is highly reflective mirror while the other one is a partially transport already i have discussed in the last lecture uh, and other is a partially uh, transparent to provide the laser output so that output mirror is a partially uh, transparent so that is a partial transparent mirror so it allows the beam of the radiation to either pass through or bounce back okay and forth repeatedly to the laser medium so it is partial transparent and the few beams actually it is uh, bounced back or returned back into that laser medium also because it is partially repeated and high energy beam are actually comes out uh, outside of that partial transparent mirror as a your laser beam okay as a your laser beam so this is a folded uh, resonator axial flow co2 laser okay and uh, 
So normally this is used. Folded resonator, axial flow, CO2 lasers are used. So maximum uh, 100 watt laser power can be generated for one meter length of the your uh, tube length, one meter length of the your tube. So suppose our uh, requirement is a few kilometer uh, kilowatt. So in that case, the length of the tube will be very high, very long. Uh, as you can see, use the uh, you can. Uh, use a uh, small length of the tube and many tubes can be uh, connect each other so in that case folded resonator axial flow co2 are used to reduce the floor space so here i have shown the diagram also you can see the uh, small small tubes are used so it is folded resonator axial flow okay so for very uh, high power that is uh, several hundred uh, thousands of the watt. So traverse flow gas transport laser, which is very compact, is used. Okay. So large amount of gas volume is required in that case. Again, what are the beam is there? No. So that beam is replated several times because uh, it escape as a laser beam. So we have that partially replating mirror. So we need a uh, computer control of the uh, of the that laser beam system that is used to take our advant uh, advantage of that highly speed processing. So motion is can be uh, given either into the workpiece or either into that workpiece. Uh, uh, it can be given to the laser beam nozzle also. Okay, that what are the motion is there. So like this is a setup you can call or the your uh, system of the laser beam machine. Okay. Now let us uh, proceed for the further part. So up till now we have covered that working principle, how the lasers are produced, which are the different uh, types of the laser, and how it is works. Now let us discuss the process characteristics. Now the firstly, uh, we shall discuss now uh, what are the process para, uh, characteristics of this laser beam machine. So. First, I will uh, discuss some what are the disadvantage of this laser beam machine. So, the first disadvantage is that the high capacity cost of this laser beam machine system. Because uh, you have seen that how the this system uh, setup is there. Okay, so it's have the high capital cost. Okay, and also high operating cost. Okay, so the main disadvantage of this LBM is the high capital and the operating cost. Okay. Again, it's a machining efficiency is there, no? so it is less than one percent, so which is very less, so that it is uh, why it uh, comes very uh, competitive uh, with the other conventional machining uh, operation. Okay, so high capital cost, high operation operating cost, also low machining efficiency, less than one percent. So these are the disadvantages. So these lasers maybe uh, it can operate in the continuous mode, or it can be operated in the impulse mode. So in that again, continuous uh, lasers are used for welding purpose. Okay, continuous wave mode. Okay, so in that that continuous lasers, you no, know, are used for welding purpose. Laser uh, again, laser chemical vapor deposition. Again, that is a surface uh, in the part. We are going to discuss in the uh, last uh, in the last chapter. We have the chemical vapor deposition uh, point. So for that also, that laser chemical vapor deposition purpose we can use also surface hardening purpose where continuous source of energy uh, heat input is required for that welding for hardening operation okay so this is about the continuous wave uh, lasers mode okay so again it uh, uh, requires uninterrupted energy supply for that melting and the again phase transformation purpose okay again uh, if you go for the uh, controlled pulse energy you know then it is desirable for cutting, drilling, marking to uh, reduce that that heat affected zone. Okay, so controlled pulse energy is used, which is desirable for uh, cutting, drilling, marking again to reduce the heat affected zone. So laser beam machine components has low fatigue. Okay, 
so next carriage is that laser, laser beam uh, machine has uh, that laser beam machine component has a low strength fatigue strength than the our conventional process due to micro cracks and the thermal resonant traces okay so again uh, next carriage is that the thickness so thickness of the heat affected zone it depends on the feed rate of the your laser beam machine so in case of the gas assisted laser cutting uh, types of the uh, that uh, gas assisted laser cutting no so there types of assisting gas also helps to reduce the heat affected zone and it's the pressure that gas assisted laser cutting no so what about that gas nozzle diameter and the also nozzle tip a distance that also affect uh, it uh, helps to reduce the heat affected zone okay so so these are the main important uh, parameters uh, which are uh, helps to reduce the heat affected zone during the our laser beam machining process okay because our laser beam machining is there no that laser beam when huge amount of heat source act, uh, concentrated into the workpiece surface so it heat up the that workpiece and the small amount of material is melted and vaporized that material and surrounding material actually uh, is uh, there no that also heat up okay so there is a pulse down transformation occur so heat affected zone actually is obtained which is not desirable due to this heat up okay so these are the process characteristics now here i have shown that laser beam power balance okay so you can see the uh, figure okay uh, how your laser beam energy is utilized in different events what are the, uh, that how this power actually distributed out of the laser beam power is there no so how it is distributed during the laser beam uh, machining so that i have shown so this laser beam machining if you take that experiment during this uh, experiment no this power is actually distributed in a different way okay so a part of the heat source is lost due to a reflection so reflection is there and due to also a scattering and the some part is used for that absorption by that metal source again their radiation loss will be there and that thermal diffusion loss okay and what are the absorbed by that metal surface no? so out of that vaporization of metal that melting and vaporization so that is used for metal removal okay so so you can see the removal of material uh, removal of material by high pressure of the vapor no that will take place due to this vaporization okay so actually uh, this is uh, i have taken for the just uh, information purpose and again this is a uh, uh, given by the one of the author that is ill uh, sorry a author in 1994 he has published that research paper so uh, from that i have taken okay so this is for our knowledge purpose how our uh, power of the laser beam which are uh, incident no so how it is lost by the reflection scattering and out of that absorbed by the metal surface how it is utilized for the melting and vaporization of metal that is a removal of the metal now uh, uh, that uh, remaining part of the process of uh, characteristics so again during this process no there is no mechanical forces are acting on the workpiece surface so this is one of the characteristics so that due to that no mechanical forces no so that is why this laser beam uh, can be used for thin and a uh, delicate workpiece okay also uh, as no mechanical forces are used no on that work uh, uh, on that work uh, surface then so this process can machine in a brittle factory material hard metal metallic metal then uh, uh, non-metallic materials okay cast iron sorry uh, cast alloy tungsten titanium alumina and diamond so on 
दिस ऑल मटेरियल वी कैन मशीन यूज इन दिस लेजर वे मशीन ऑल्सो वेरी हार्ड मटेरियल इज देर नो हाई एक्सटेंड टेम्परेचर रेजिस्टेंट मटेरियल कैन बी मशीन बाय दिस लेजर वे मशीन ओके तो ऑल्सो इट कैन मशीन एनी ऑप्टिकली ट्रांसपेरेंट वर्क पीस मटेरियल एज लॉन्ग एज द लेजर वे इज नॉट ऑब्स्टेकल ऑब्स्ट्रक्टेड so it can be used for machining uh, machine the in uh, accessible area also okay also uh, this laser machine can operate uh, through transparent uh, environment environment like air gas uh, vacuum okay in uh, some cases even in liquid also we can use this laser beam machining okay now one disadvantage uh, is that uh, this laser beam machining cannot be utilized the, that applied for Material having the high thermal conductivity and high repeatability, like in alumina and copper. So they are actually uh, they these two materials they have the actually high thermal conductivity and high repeatability. So that is why uh, machining of these two materials, copper and alumina, uh, is difficult by using this laser beam machining. Okay, so that is why most of the laser beam machining uh, uh, in this laser beam machining. No? So that machining table are actually made up of by the aluminum work piece okay then what are the that focus the laser beam is there no so it's have the least diameter okay again that least diameter of that focus the laser beam is there no so that depends on the your laser beam divergence okay and the uh quality of the laser material and the machine the depth okay so laser beam can drill uh, holes of large aspect ratio very small diameter also also we can uh, drill the holes at an angle uh, other than 90 uh, degree also to that your surface okay that is less than approximately uh, 10 also 10 degree also and for good quality uh, drilled hole no high peak power is required that is a uh, peak power means what ratio of high pulse energy to low uh, sorry uh, short pulse duration okay and for that for uh, but high power density is recommended for the good quality drill hole okay and for pulse duration for uh, deep hole drilling no that pulse duration is uh, normally recommended is a uh, 0.1 to 2.5 A microsecond. Okay, whatever I am telling this uh, statistics, no. So these all statistic we get, uh, we'll get the uh, different research paper. So uh, I also report some the research paper. Okay, because whatever we are getting the result of the any machine, no. So all that result we are getting from the different experiment, and that experiments are carried by the different authors. And they that author me uh, they have published a research paper, and that research papers we are using. Okay. Okay, so you can see in this diagram also. Uh, so one of the author mentioned that the relation between the thickness of the your metal and the drilling time for various uh, diameter hole size. Okay, so diameter of the, that. It is changed. So whatever our laser beam process is there, no, so it is quite efficient for the first few second only. But afterward, it will paint it. Uh, Aye, Rahul, I have to book. So it is going to uh, it uh, goes down. Okay. Also, that uh, time required uh, to drill hole, no, it is uh, normally inversely proportional to your energy uh, delivered per pulse. Okay. So that is also you know by the one of the author. This statistic. Okay. So we should not go in that in detail about that. Uh, but as a Information and the knowledge purpose. Just I have uh, told. So if you want to go in detail also, you can refer that VK Gen book also. Okay, in that in detail everything is here. Okay. So wherever I am telling that in detail you can go. So that means uh, that means that that part is not in our syllabus. But for the knowledge purpose or information purpose, I am just highlighting that point. Okay. 
now let us discuss the applications of this uh, laser beam machining so there are a uh, different applications of this laser beam machining process so uh, this laser beam machining is uh, utilized for cutting the material which uh, which is difficult to machine okay uh, like uh, hardened uh, steel composites ceramics uh, having a favorable thermal and optical properties okay so laser beam machine can for the cutting the metals which is which are difficult to machine metals okay now difficult to machine metal your hardened steel composite then uh, ceramics okay then uh, our laser beam energy is uh, utilized for drilling cutting uh, micro machining uh, tapening then trim uh, trimming operation then marking welding soldering operation also brazing operation so all these operations can be done with the help of laser beam energy okay for different applications it can be used okay uh, uh, one of the application is that uh, main application by uh, using this laser beam is the drilling drilling operation okay so major of application of this laser beam machine is the drilling okay so we'll talk about the drilling so micro holes okay that uh, drilling uh, hole now so in that micro holes of diameter less than 1 mm micro hole diameter less than okay so uh, that micro hole of diameter less than 1 mm can be drilled by this laser beam machining process also a small hole diameter that is uh, 1 to uh, 3.2 mm diameter with a aspect ratio 1000 as to 1 can be made by this a uh, process okay so mechanism of the uh, metal to mold as we know that melting as well as vaporization so escaping of the uh, vaporized metal when this metal is uh, vaporized metal no so escape the outside from the your drill hole at that time it remove the whatever uh, this molten metal are there no it's removed by the spray or the uh, spray of the drop uh, that droplets also okay so it is it is removed by the spray of the droplets again the uh, super alloys are used uh, actually because of their high uh, strength high toughness high creep uh, uh, strength hot uh, corrosion resistance at high temperature so these are the super alloys uh, are used in the, that order the super alloys are there that material is normally is the turbine blades okay compound like blade guide vanes uh, after uh, burners then casings okay so these are the components of the turbine okay so these are the components of the turbines uh, are uh, that are used uh, or made up of the by super alloys okay and the normally uh, the temperature okay uh, whatever is there no? so that is more than the 2000 degree centigrade so large amount of cooling uh, holes are actually required in that turbine bed so this cooling holes uh, actually made up by this laser beam drilling operation okay so laser beam drilling is the uh, used for drilling uh, that miniature holes in diamond uh, dies okay uh, which is used for wire uh, drawing operation in wire drawing operation diamond dies are used and in that diamond dies we require to uh, drill miniaturize that means mini holes so for that purpose laser beam drilling is the option for us again in uh, sapphire uh, sapphire uh, or uh, ruby bearings okay which is used in watches so for making small small holes so this laser beam uh, drilling are used for in that watches also okay i repeat this laser beam drilling can be used for drilling miniaturized holes in diamond dies for wire drilling also in uh, sapphire and the ruby bearings uh, for watches so in that also for drilling we can use uh, this again uh,
so that uh, drilled holes are there no so that drilled holes maybe a taper a rough shape or uh, that roundness so to reduce the recast layer actually there is a uh, uh, that what are the recast layer actually is there no on the drilled zones or heat application zone is there no so it is point not not 25 to 1 or point 1 mm only that rec uh, to reduce that uh, recast layer so it depends on the workpiece material it's a thickness and the uh, machining parameters okay so diameter uh, that uh, repair uh, again that repeatability is there no so is a uh, plus minus point 25 uh, point not 25 mm and or uh, plus minus 10 percent of the diameter okay which is uh, greater so that must uh, that may be considered diameter repeatability yeah? again so for better uh, quality holes no and the improved process uh, performance it is achieved if the high frequency with the low energy pulses are used okay so better quality hold and improved process performance is achieved if the high frequency with low energy pulses are used so in that case we can get better quality holds with improved process performance so high frequency low energy pulses are used for better quality holes okay so for uh, if we use high energy single pulse then these are the defect like uh, uh, recast layer heat affected zone uh, taper will be more that in that case uh. now the uh, another application uh, of this laser beam must you know so that uh, that laser beam can be also used for the cutting purpose okay one important application is the drilling holes and the second is the cutting so laser beam can be also be used for cutting purposes that uh tripping operation or the cutting okay so laser uh that larger size holes more than if the diameter will be considered or not so more than a uh, diameter of the hole is more than 1.2 mm can be cut by this tripping uh tipping uh sorry tipping uh, operation okay so in this tripping operation instead of cutting the melting and evaporation the total volume of material so along the periphery of the hole actually laser beam actually passed the, uh, along the that uh, periphery of the hole and due to that so that uh, um, total amount of pra can be removed okay so this cutting is done at a high speed if you are uh, doing the stiffening operation no and so can uh, pierce also over this okay piercing is operation so at any location and can cut that uh, omnidirectional directional uh, that means in any direction we can cut now if we talk about the uh, that nd lasers no so that gives the low mean power okay but its intensity power intensity is zero no is very high it is uh, 10 to uh, the power 10 okay uh, 10 to to uh, 8 watt per uh, centimeter square that much power intensity is there so due to that that uh, due to that better focusing behavior no of that india laser so we can use for cutting brittle materials okay uh, also silicon carbide material uh, ceramic materials okay without crack huh? and also with the small curve with the okay small curve width and small heat affected okay now this about the nda lasers then okay please note that this nda lasers 
uh, can be employed for cutting brittle materials like uh, silicon carbide uh, ceramics okay again without crack with smaller sharp width and heat affected zones okay then the uh, our co2 laser okay because due to uh, low thermal load okay now uh, talking about the gas assisted lasers okay gas assisted laser means that our uh, co2 lasers and other so in that gas jets actually assist for cleaning of the your metal uh, from the cut and keeping a uh, debris away from the contaminating that uh, focusing lens okay so oxygen jet gas also uh, uh, used for uh, oxidable materials okay uh, to uh, increase the cutting rate so it is uh, recommended uh, for oxidizable uh, material like uh, carbon dioxide, uh, carbon steels okay so it gives a high cutting speed uh, than the other gas like air or nitrogen okay so it uh, oxidizes the edges of your machine component and uh, it gives the heat affected zone uh, gives the larger heat affected zone so argon uh, it gives a very good if you compare that uh, argon no, sir then argon gives the very uh, good cut edge okay which is used for the cutting work piece uh, that to be well laid or the bridge ladder okay so argon gives good cut uh, edge okay this is about the heat affected zone i'm oh, sorry uh, uh, this is about the laser beam machine for the cutting operation in that again gas assisted laser and that again oxygen jet gas Now let us discuss the laser marking. Okay, again, again uh, this another important application is the laser marking. Yeah? So laser beam also can be used for marking operation. So most of you uh, might have uh, seen uh, that uh, this marking on the name plate okay, is done in front of uh, uh, that uh, in uh, many workshop you might be have seen or in uh, normally in industries. This type of marking with the help of the lasers are uh, carried out. Okay, so this uh, whatever the name plates are there now normally, so can be marked by the laser beam or uh, laser beam. Okay, so that laser beam on the metallic or the non metallic part. Okay, so you can uh, uh, do the marking. So, marking system is used uh, to uh, imprint the letters that no. Uh, no, uh, that uh, numeral value uh, or symbols on the your metal or the non metal workshop uh, work piece also so it is used uh, by the pulsating lasers so you cannot do the marking operation by continuous wave laser so it is because we want uh, that during the only that operation that marking only we want the pulse no so pulsating lasers are used so here we uh, should not go for the continuous wave laser. So also, you need a computer control beam scanning system. So, as a beam scan, the workpiece that localized area in the form of overlapping blind holes. So, blind holes are vaporized uh, to produce the blind grooves of the maximum width of uh, uh, width and uh, that depth of uh, 0.25 mm. So depth can be as low as that point not not five m also. So that depth of cut can, can be measured. Okay, can be machined point not not five mm or five micron. Okay, it depends uh, on the, the your machining parameters. Okay. So high quality uh, marking with the minimum surface damage can be done by high power density uh, pulse laser beam. Huh? So. Again, for only few uh, nanoseconds are required. Okay, that pulse setting. Uh, so 30 characters per second can be machined. Uh, 30 characters, I'm saying, can be uh, per second, can be machined uh, in. And it is normal speed of the laser beam marking uh, system. Okay. 
so these are the main applications what are the drilling cutting i have told no and the marking now let us discuss the some miscellaneous applications also so you can see uh, on the slide also i have shown the some miscellaneous applications so our laser beam uh, can also be used for miscellaneous applications like you can do the turning operation you can do the uh, threading operation you can do the grooming operation also so in that case more than one laser uh, that heat source more than one independent laser heat up source are used okay more than one independent laser heat, heat source are used so here you can see in this diagram you can see this is one laser okay that red uh, red colored i have shown no? that beam uh, a beam uh, b okay so that is one laser and another beam of the, the i have shown that beam b so these two beams laser beams actually it is used to do the uh, these kinds of threading operations on the cylindrical workshop uh, workpiece so uh, first diagram you can see to do the threading operation uh, at uh, 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 turning and the threading on the cylindrical workpiece surface we can use uh, that two lasers okay be uh, laser beam so you can see uh, your workpiece is rotating okay and you are uh, going for the laser okay in a traverse direction sorry translation direction Okay, you can see the arrow also I have shown. So you can use that beam A and B B two. Okay, and by uh, doing that uh, threading, no, you will get the uh, removal uh, removal of the material. Okay, so this is a miscellaneous apl application. Okay, again, uh, when these two beams actually uh, matches, no, at a certain point, then volume of material is removed. Okay, more volume of motor is removed. So here you can see two lasers are used in this diagram uh, for that uh, mar marking purpose. Are used for marking this kind of grooming operation or the milling operation also. That uh, you can see the second uh, milling operation. How uh, we have used uh, two beams for milling operation. Okay, you can see simultaneously two beams are used. So that uh, due to that uh, more volume of material we can cut. So this laser mean, can be employed for both uh, again micro machining and uh, macro machining operation. Okay. Again, this uh, 3D laser beam utilizes two laser beams. Huh? 3D laser beam utilizes two laser beams for threading, turning, or grooming operation again 3d cutting so in that two independent lasers simultaneously used uh, to cut the two growths okay moving closer to each other okay so you can see that di diagram also cutting and when these two grooves uh, that coverage the volume uh, of uh, order the is to be cut no cut off so without being melted or the vaporized you can cut other part uh. so this laser beam employed to fracture to can, uh, can can also be employed to fracture the delicate atoms okay to fracture the delicate atoms in a control man uh, control fashion okay so the, the during that absorption of the laser energy by that workpiece is there no so that results in the thermal gradient and it uh, leading to the mechanical traces and due to that uh, results in the control fracture okay so this is another miscellaneous application laser beam can be employed to fracture delicate atoms okay in a control fashion so absorption of the laser energy by that uh, workpiece material no? so that results in the thermal gradient and that leading to the mechanical traces and due to that uh, we'll get the result in the, that control fractures okay
So this is about the our laser beam machining. Okay. So in detail we have discussed this laser beam machining. Now, uh, shall we go for some uh, videos about the laser beam machine? Okay. So wait for uh, just uh, just a minute. One minute, I will just download the video. Now you can see uh, this is a laser cutting uh, laser cutting machine. Uh, you can see how the cutting operation. See the rods, then cylindrical surfaces, and the pipe. Okay, see. See, laser cutting, huh? This is not a conventional cutting, huh? This is laser cutting. Aravans machining. There is no contact. See. Just you have to give the command uh, which shape we want to uh, machine. Okay. Design shape. Fully automated is there. See that incline cutting also can be done with the help of this. Whether it is visible at your end. Hello, uh, Adesh. Display, Prana display, whether uh, visible at yes, your end. Sir. Visible, visible, sir. Uh -huh.
This is another one. So remember drill uh, drilling operation that marking the important cutting. Whatever desired shape or size is required, no, uh, that we have to give through the command. Uh, that means uh, that uh, control system, numerical control system. Okay, that means uh, your uh, cam part. That means computer added manufacturing no so that is required Now this is a CO2 laser. See, the, this is a laser beam drilling machine. Let to maintain. Laser beam machine 
is best suited for machining wooden materials with low conductivity, but can be used on almost every material. To understand the laser beam machining process, watch this video to the end. This video will cover the following about the laser beam machining process. 1. Working principle. 2. Construction. 3. Working. 4. Parameter affecting the machining process. 5. Applications. 6. Advantages and disadvantages. Working principle. In this machining One minute, uh, the uh, I will. The, surface of the, the heat energy from the laser beam is transferred ah, to the Now whether uh, why is audible? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why is it audible? Yes, sir. Okay. One minute. A laser is produced when the electrons in I will start with process in which material huh. from the workpiece surface using heat. Audible, no? Stands for light amplification by stimulated so, yes. emission of radiation. Okay. A laser is produced when the electrons in atoms of special crystals are energized using electric current. Generally, garnet crystals are most commonly used in solid state lasers, yttrium, aluminium garnets, and doped with neodymium which is also called MDYAG, are most popularly used. These excited electrons emit photons. Photons are the particles of light, and these emitted photons form a concentrated beam of light, forming a laser. A laser beam machine is best suited for machining brittle materials with low conductivity, but can be used on almost every material. This is just a summary type video, so that was what I was talking this video will cover the following about the laser beam machining process. 1. Working principle. 2. Construction. 3. Working. 4. Parameter affecting the machining process. 5. Applications. 6. Advantages and disadvantages. Working principle. In this machining process, as the laser beam strikes the surface of the workpiece, the heat energy from the laser beam is transferred to the workpiece. This heat energy melts and vaporize the material from the workman's surface. Construction. The laser beam machine consists of following parts. Power supply. It requires the power supply of 1 to 10 kilowatt. A high voltage power source is used to produce light in flashlight tubes. Flash lamp. Flash lamp or flash tube is used to charge the electrons of the atoms in the crystal, which is also called as pumping medium. Capacitor. Capacitor is used for operating the laser beam machine in pulses. Pumping medium. Pumping medium, in this case, is a ruby crystal, which has a large number of atoms, which, when absorbs the energy, their electrons produce photons. Working. When the switch is turned on, a high voltage power supply is applied across the flashlight or flash tube surrounding the pumping medium, in our case, it's ruby crystal. As the light is powered on, it emits high energy photons. These photons are absorbed by the ruby crystal. This absorbed energy causes most of the electrons contained in the atoms of the ruby crystals to be excited at a high energy level from its ground state. After a short duration as the electrons from high energy level comes to ground state, they emit photons. This emitted photon stimulates the excited electrons to return to their ground state, thus producing more photons as they return to their ground state. Thus a pair of photons are obtained by utilizing one photon. Thus, we call this process as amplification of light using stimulated radiation. As the photon's concentration increases, the laser is formed. A 100% reflective mirror is used to reflect all the photons back to the crystal, whereas a semi-reflective mirror reflects some of the photons back, and escaping photons through a semi-reflective mirror forms a high-energy laser beam. Then a lens is used to focus the laser beam onto the workpiece to be machined. Interaction of laser and workpiece produce a large amount of heat, thus vaporizing the surface of the workpiece, thus cutting grooves of various shapes, or cutting the workpiece. Application of laser beam machining process. Engraving. Welding. Engraving that marking. Welding. Cutting. Drilling. It is also used in shipbuilding, automobile, aerospace, steel, electrical, and medical industries for precise machining of the various parts. Advantages of laser beam machining. 1. There are no direct contact between the tool and workpiece. 2. It can machine both conductive as well as non-conductive material. 
3, it can be focused to very small diameter. Thus, extremely small diameter holes can be machined in the workings, and higher machining accuracy are possible. 4. There is no tool wear as in conventional machining process. 5. Complex shapes of different sizes can be machined, as the laser can be moved in any path. 6. It gives very good surface finish. Disadvantages of laser beam machining. 1. It requires a lot of energy for machining process. Very low rate of material removal. 3. The lifespan of the lamp is short. Hope you have understood laser beam machining process. If you are new to ABTW, consider subscribing this channel. And if you want... Uh, okay. So I think uh, time also over. So shall we stop here? Okay. We'll stop here. And next lecture, we'll start the electron beam machine. Okay. So thank you. Thank you very much.